Hey, hey, so what makes a good landing page? It's a really great question, and it's not very straightforward when you start to Google this stuff, right? When you start to Google this stuff, usually you come across these generic articles from Unbounce or Instapage, and they're saying, hey, this is the anatomy of a landing page. You've got to have a headline and supporting copy, and it's not... It's not really deep enough. It's not really telling you enough about what actually makes a good landing page. And so I've got to give a good shout out to King Kong. They're an agency in Australia that do amazing landing pages. Um, but also go through any of the landing pages that you might have seen over your lifetime, um, anything that you would have made you want to buy and take that next step. ClickFunnels have amazing landing pages for that. And I'm going to basically break down some of the core elements that it makes up a great landing page. What makes a good landing page? Okay, so um, firstly, let me quickly run down these, run through these in a nutshell. So you've got the cores. So you've got um, usually at the top, you've got a hero section or a header section with an offer and a call out. It's usually some sort of great headline that pulls you in um, and it calls out to one particular audience. Then you've got problem agitate solution section. So you've got a section that um, really relates to the end audience in a way that um, ties in with any pain points that they're going through right now in their life, any objections they're going through, all that kind of stuff. And then you're usually tying it in a bow with a solution. Hey, we're here to help. We're here to solve that. Kind of like if you think of a movie, like even Shrek or, or any kind of movie, there's usually a hero's journey where they go through some problems, um, they overcome some adversaries, and you know there's a solution or end goal at the end. Uh, what their desired state is. And you need to know that desired state in terms of if you're trying to sell one product or service, you need to know what the desired state of the audience is, as well as the pain points and what they're going through, as well as objections with partnering with you to be their guide in helping them solve their problem. Okay. Um, and then there's the usual us suspects like benefits, bullet points. Um, you've got your social proof like associated brands. And we're going to go through this quickly. Testimonials, breadcrumb offers. I used to call it breadcrumb offers years ago. I don't call it that anymore. Um, basically, that's like ebooks and opt ins and top of funnel um, it's opportunities for people to actually subscribe to your content, get something for free for uh, they're trading their attention for some, some value that you're going to give them. Okay. And that helps you nurture them over time with email. Um, direct response call to actions, like really helpful buttons that tells them the next step. Like, for example, if it's personal trainer, you know, get your dream body now, and then it takes them to the next step, which is a form, whatever it is. Um, discovery call, booked appointment, photo with links. Okay, so those are the, like the core things that every landing page almost always has. They almost always have this kind of stuff, and then they sometimes have this stuff. They sometimes have a guarantee section. They sometimes have a video on the top. You know, instead of uh, a form, they'll replace it with a video sales letter. Damage emission statement. So, um, you know, basically you're trying to qualify people whether or not that you're a good fit and say, hey, we, we don't offer guarantees. It might be the opposite of a guarantee. And usually that lowers people's guards and they can trust you. Um, pricing, sometimes you have pricing on the pages, like if it's a product, case studies, depending on the niche, before and after sections, like for dental clinics and, and transformations, um, galleries and samples, you know, for construction and mining sectors, maybe statistics like USPs um, and timelines, like the timelines are very, very rare, but anyway. Um, I want to quickly run through those because that's kind of like what a lot of the best landing pages have. They usually go through all of that and I'm going to quickly identify it and just to compare what what's happening across these pages. Now, you'll find that some established brands like Dollar Shave Club and things like that, they don't necessarily always have it and you can't compare it on their landing on their homepage because it's not a landing page. Um, and usually these brands that have already established good market <clears throat> they've got a good market share, then they don't have to sell themselves as much. They don't have to go as direct response as much uh, as brands who are trying to go through the lead generation route or quick sales and things like that. You know, they're trying to get bottom of funnel sales. So in saying that, your main goal is to make sure that you're building trust as quickly as possible. And that's what these landing pages are for. Okay, so let's go through any one of these. Um, let's go through Ray, Ray White. So they're targeting people. Who are they targeting? 
Lane Cove homeowners looking to sell their property. So they've got a very clear call out. Who is the person that they want coming to this page? If it's anyone else, they don't want them. Okay. They don't want buyers. They want sellers, people that are selling their property. And then how to sell your home for 11% or above the average sale price, even in the declining market. So as you can see, this it relates to a major pain point that people have as a seller of their property. They want to get the best price as possible. Um, but let's say that it's a saturated market or the market, um, there's not a lot of buyers in the market for their property. And so they're worried. So this kind of um, tackles that objection at the same time as it attracts them to what they desire. So this is more of a desire based headline. Okay. And then you go through, you, you've got more problem agitate solutions. So thinking of selling a property to upsize or down, okay, or you want to maximize the sale price of your property, then you've come to the right place. So this is, so I'm Paul Knees and my agency, Ray White, has the highest clearance rate. So it's, it's pulling you into a story. It's not like true problem agitate solution, but it's pretty much, pretty much there. Okay. So with that said, if you go through the rest of these pages, they'll have something similar. So if you go through here, are you searching for the inside scoop on what Scott's to, stocks to invest in? With so much information research available, the internet, it can be difficult to know what, uh, which investment tips the trust. Um, that's why at blah, blah, blah. So you're kind of building the story and pulling people in and each of the headlines has a job to build trust with you as soon as possible. And so, the quickest way to do this and to understand the sections that you need on your page, like they've got the social proof with logos, they've got enjoy peace of mind, annual returns since blah, blah, blah. So this isn't really a guarantee, but it's kind of building that trust with you. Uh, video sales letter, as we went through at the beginning of this video. Benefits, okay. Um, testimonials, peppering in testimonials, more testimonials, how it works. So more of a logical state. Once they've convinced from an emotional side, Hey, I get it. I want to go with you. How do I take the next steps with you now? Then you have to present more logical steps. This is how we get started, right? Um, and you'll keep identifying these over and over and over. But where I was going with this is the main things. And I've come up with four of these is you've got to start with your audience, right? Each landing page needs to have one audience. If you've got uh, like two audiences and stuff, usually it's a home page. But if you've got one landing page, it needs to be one audience. Um, otherwise, make sure you break it down into separate landing pages if you're targeting multiple audiences. And identify what are their pain points? What are their objections? What are their internal dialogue? Like what's uh, from an emotional standpoint, what are they going through in their life right now in regards to your situation, like the product or service that you're selling? Can you list down in bullet points in first person their pain points, their objections, their desires, their uh, you know dream outcomes, their um, secret wants, you know needs, fears, frustrations? What are they frustrated with? If you can try to like figure out that stuff, spend some time before you even start on a landing page, before you even start on writing the content. Um, try to figure out this shit first because that will give you the answer to what you need to write. Okay. It gives you the blueprint. If you just spend more time on that, going through, um, social media, going through the actual conversations happening on the internet right now, survey your existing customers. W why did they even buy from you in the first place? That will give you all the answers that you need to write a really relatable landing page, you know, and once you've created it the first time, it's not perfect the first time. So you've got to keep revolve, uh, like iterating it and evolving it. Okay. Over time, what kind of words do they expect to see? So this will give you based on the conversations you're happening. <clears throat> if you're trying to write a landing page for the mining sector or a lawyer, that's going to be totally different to someone who is in the health and fitness space and they they they've got more energetic language and they've they're you know more colloquial you know so you got to make sure that you're speaking the right language of the audience you know otherwise they know that you don't get them you're not in their space okay so you need to make sure you relate to them and build that trust so how do you build trust as quickly as possible so you're peppering in social proof you've got this problem agitate solution to relate to them you're building that trust you're going through their objections you got got FAQs all that kind of stuff what do you want them to do once trust is built so once trust is built and you'll see all of these buttons here are that next step what do you want them to do next? Or is it one single thing you want them to do? You want, for, in this case, it's trying the course risk free for 10 days. That's their only call to action. Don't, don't like confuse them down this rabbit hole of going through all your pages through your website.
just get them to do one thing and, and that's really all you need to do, right? And so if we go through this top to bottom, got the headline, the hero statement, uh, sorry, so the hero section with the headline and the call out, looking for ways to earn income and quit your nine to five. You've got social proof, you've got logos, you've got your first section, escape the nine to five grind, so problem agitate solution. Dear friend, do you watch renovation TV shows, see others make a tidy profit and wish you could do the same? So this is relating to them. This is introducing the founder that, hey, I was like you once, you know, in any way that you can build that trust as quickly as possible. You got a VSL, you got a video here, right? You've got some social proof, USPs. Um, okay, so you keep going through the complete online course that takes you from fresh newbie to reno superstar. Don't think uh, you have what it takes to renovate a home. Don't be so sure. I could blah, blah, blah. So people who are this audience have doubts about themselves. And so they're trying to create that trust by saying, hey, we know you've got doubts, you know, and it's trying to build that um, relationship with those people. Keep going through, secure and safe checkout. So obviously this goes into buying a course or, or a mini course at a low ticket offer. And one of the biggest things is to create trust is you've got to show this kind of stuff to show that, hey, it is a secure checkout. A lot of people don't like surrendering or in their, their credit cards or their emails or phone numbers. So you've got to create that trust and they've obviously done their research here. So over 15,000 students, so social proof. They've got proof, they've got case studies. As we said at the start of the video, the case studies, right? You're going through that. Um, let's go through social proof, more story, more social proof and case study type material more case study type material, building that trust, more USPs, um, going through benefits, as we said before, what do you get out of it? What's in it for me? So these are all tied to that one persona. Um, so if we get, keep going through, same thing, guarantee section, as I said, you know, the, the, as I said at the start of the video, there's guarantee section. It's not for every page, but, and then more of the logical steps. How do I get started? So you see what I mean? This is what makes a good landing page. When you're covering all that stuff, there is no one answer for what makes a perfect landing page. It's not possible to give you that answer. But there are formulas and recipes, just like a great meal, that make up that meal, you know? Same with the landing page. You need to make sure that you research the audience properly and then it'll give you all the answers. So I hope that was helpful. Um, I did want to touch upon like other examples just to show you. You know, Russell Brunson's a really amazing marketer, world-class marketer, and you'll see in his stuff that he goes through and pulls you in with a story that you can relate to, building that trust really quickly. Um, you can go through any of the top listed landing pages and you can see all of these patterns that I'm showing you. So anyway, I hope that was helpful. If you've got any questions around that, leave them in the comments below. Talk soon. Thanks.